What's up guys, the Duck Opinion here, and we're doing more DuckCraft 2.0. And before I start, I want to make a couple shout outs. A shout out to um, Kobe Brooks, and a shout out to Mr. Josh Milton, and um, Daniel Alt. Now uh, these three characters, they are subscribers, and you guys rock so much, and they purchase shirts. And uh, they are more than welcome to come and play with me when DuckCraft 1.8 comes out. And I just want to say personally, thank you guys so much for ordering shirts and wristbands and showing your love for a Duck Opinion. Thank you guys so much. And so if you guys that are listening to this now want to get a shout out on the next DuckCraft and you want to show your love, well, we, sh we sell wristbands and t-shirts. The shirts are $20 plus $4 shipping and handling. And I can ship them anywhere in the USA and get them to you and have you wearing some kick-ass Duck Opinion merch. And uh, next year, we're also going to be having Duck Fin exclusively shirts and exclusive wristbands. But you guys got to show that you love this stuff and want to buy the merch before I can actually get the good stuff, the new stuff. So we only have about 15 shirts left. So if you guys uh, want to get in on that shirt buying action, links will be in the description below. And that guarantees you a spot to be in my 1.8 world when it comes out here in a couple weeks. And also, just another shout out that I almost forgot, Legit Chief. A lot of you guys know Legit Chief. He's one of my buddies on here. And he will definitely <clears throat> he will definitely be coming and building 1.8, building some very epic stuff. But he also bought one of the bundle packets, which come with CDs, shirts, stickers. And we are shipping that out tomorrow. So if you guys want to place some orders in, I can get it out with you in a couple days. And within a week, you'll have your orders. And, um... You can help support the cause. So, you know, thank you to Cody and Josh and Daniel and um, Legit Chief. You guys rock. You guys really do. Show them that support. So, <clears throat> now that I have the shout outs out the way and the uh, telling you guys how to get shout outs, I want to go ahead and um, focus on building the walls to the castle. Because I want to get the castle done. Even if it's just. I don't know. I don't think we have too much room to make it into two stories. So I want to go ahead and I want to kind of start finishing up the roof a little bit. Give the roof some really cool design. It's going to be a lot of cobblestone I'm going to use. I'm going to take it all. And I don't think I have much glass. Oh, I have a little bit. Okay, we'll take the glass too. We'll go ahead and take glowstone and the nether rack. Alright, those are all the supplies I'm planning on using. So let's go and be creative on the castle and let me ramble about my day and how I'm doing well um <clears throat> as of right now I still haven't gotten the uh, I still haven't got my YouTube link back up to be partnered yet but that should happen tomorrow or the next day like guarantee and I will get my partner program I'll be partner with TGN I'll be able to place ad back in my videos and we'll be able to post uh, more than a couple videos a day, you know, because I've only been posting a few a day until we get the uh, partnership back because all my ads have been removed, but it is okay. That'll only take a few days and we'll be over it and by the time you see this, I should officially have already gotten partnered. So hopefully by the time you see this, I'm partnered and we are in, we're being, you know, enjoying the luxuries of being partnered. So I got a little focused, like, you know, I start talking and then I start building and my, my, my mouth kind of just, I don't know what it says sometimes and I lose my words, you know, it happens to the best of us. But um, I have officially um, paid a subscription to Aim to Game. I'm just waiting for the confirmation email. And if you guys are wondering what Aim to Game is, they are a company that runs Minecraft servers. So my Minecraft server will be out very soon and I'm very excited for that. Because we're going to get some of you guys in on it. We're going to get some of my good builders from uh, 360 to come on PC. We're going to do adventure maps with uh, some other characters that you may know on my webpage. And it's going to be really fun to get my friends in on Minecraft PC finally. But that's coming soon. Really, really stoked to finally get hooked up Vame to game. I've been waiting and... Uh, and now I, I've learned a lot and I'm ready to put my own custom maps up to aim for game and do like custom custom Minecraft maps instead of doing them alone. We can do them with friends now. And that's going to be really awesome. That's really going to help 
my Minecraft channel grow, which is this channel. It's going to help you guys grow with me because you'll be playing with me as well. And so it's going to be really fun. I'm excited. I don't have much information to tell you guys now about it because it's still a work in progress. But I am going to start getting some of my, my loyal subscribers that have been here for a while in on some of these multiplayer games. And um, then we'll start getting you subs in there. But I just thought I'd be careful. I gotta like set up a white list and make it where only people that I invite can come. You know, it's rough setting up your own server. It takes a little trial and error, if you know what I mean. So I'm just setting up how these walls are gonna be. I really wanna get it closed in by the end of this video. And you can tell where the glass is gonna be and all that such, but I'm really just trying to figure out where exactly some of this stuff should go. Alright, so maybe we'll go ahead and just like close this off on both sides and make the hallway big. You know, it's like an open hallway when you come in the middle. So that'd be pretty cool. So we'll close off these sides. I'm not sure if we're actually going to run out of stone. That'd be rude to run out of cobblestone. But, um, if you guys are wondering anything on the personal level, I don't have much more information on anything personal of my life, you know? What's really going on in my life is what's going on on this page, because this page is really my life, you know? I'm focused on getting my Capture Gaming card this Monday. I'm getting it. So all this footage will be HD of this game. Plus, we'll go back and cover a few games that we stopped playing, such as some Fallout 3 and we'll all be in HD and it'll look really amazing. We might go back and cover some more Skyrim. Just go back and do it for fun in HD just because, well, plain and simple, we can, you know? I'm really stoked to move on to HD gaming, finally, fully. I mean, I know I've been posting footage of HD for PC, but now we're also moving to HD for 360, and maybe by Christmas we might be doing even some PS3 games. Like, you never know, you know? I, I like doing tons of different games and seeing where I can spread my channel and grow, and if it requires a PS3, by all means, let's play some PS3 games. I love PS3, there's nothing wrong with it. I just had to sell mine when I had one, because it's hard times, and Times may be looking up depending if this TNG partnership hurries up and if it works well. I hope it does, but if it doesn't, it's going to screw me over for a few months, and that's not going to be good. But I do have, I do have hope in TGN that once I finally get through all this partner stuff, which I'm about to be through, that everything will kind of fall into place, and I'll be able to start progressing more as I should be, rather than sticking to Google Ads. Because I heard that was one of the worst things to stick with and you really need to get a partner with someone to really actually start doing YouTube for a living, which is the main goal that I have in mind. But I keep in mind, I am not doing this for a living. I only make money through here, though, and I would like to make more, but I don't make enough to really support myself. So if you guys can help me by buying some t-shirts, by buying some wristbands, or even just donating any games, controllers, or anything in general that could help me continue playing and continue running this channel, then that'd be great. Just let me know in the comments. So... We got these walls pretty laid out. I think I've covered a lot of things that we need to talk about. So let me go ahead and take out that piece. Let me see about covering this like so. Not that piece I just took out, you nerf. Gosh, having I'm having some some uh I almost said MySpace. I'm having some MySpace troubles. I actually did see my MySpace is trying to make a comeback. Not too sure if I'm trying to sign up for none of that shit though. It all depends on if the Duck Nation needs it. But I saw, um, I was saying Minecraft, whatever the heck I was talking about. <laughs> it's going to be a small room here, and a larger room here, a larger room here. I might try to change it up a little bit. Maybe extend that room to here. You know, just make it a little bit larger, a little bit more space. I mean, it's not really supposed to be a hotel, but it could be, I don't know, we could put some designs in here and be like the arch of me. So, how about we do it from here instead of turning? 
See, that's what Minecraft's all about. Sometimes you just start building on the spot, and whatever you go of is what you build. Or sometimes you'll just have an entire vision of exactly what you want, piece by piece. And um, I usually, it's, a, it's an idea of both. Maybe I'll be like, I want to build a, a fishing dock and have some boats here and all this cool stuff. And we could do that. We could build an awesome fishing dock, but halfway through it, I'm like, hey, I should add a couple more boats on this side. And I should add this nice little house to go with it to where the, where the fisherman lives. And be like, yeah, I like that idea. It's a cool idea. And you can go with it. And, um, you know, that's how Minecraft works. You start off with an idea and you go with it. So this area back here, they, these aren't going to be rooms. This is just like a secret back passageway. I might use it as like a secret escape, this whole entire hallway. And it's also for the duck. So I'm going to want to keep this locked off. I'm going to put some paintings here and make it a little secret entrance. Because you know, if we do do this DuckCraft 2.0 long enough, I can make this world for download, and you guys can download it if you guys are really feeling it when it gets, you know, big enough. Because who knows, like when creative mode comes out in a couple weeks, we might just make this a creative world. We might just go at it, and within a week or two, it could be completely done, and DuckCraft 2.0 could be over. But I'm just going to make a new creative mode, because to be honest, I really like DuckCraft 2.0. I like it just being us and personal, and whether or not I go in creative mode or not, I like the idea of just keeping it us, you know what I mean? Just keeping it you watching me play in a solo world, and I think if I brought people in here, it would be fun, but it'd kind of throw it off, you know? Like, I've done this all myself, and you guys will watch me piece by piece. But I don't know. You know, things change. I like it how it is now. I'm not going to switch up the formula. But that's not to say, maybe in like a month or so, I invite, I invite someone here to help me do some creative mode stuff just to get it more built up. Not to say I won't do that. So let's put in some glass. It's kind of looking a little bare. We're going to put in some lights too. Not sure if I'm going to keep it like it is, but for now, we will keep it like that. It's looking a little bare. A little bare with the no light situation. You know, there's there's one thing though, you guys, on a personal level, if you guys want me to get a little more personal, I miss Miss Harley Quinn. I really do, and it really sucks she's in where she is now. And I just I just miss her and my thoughts are with her. And all that great stuff. But you know, it's just it's rough, you know. Certain things in life happen to people. And some people don't deserve it. And hopefully, I mean, it's her birthday this weekend. And I'm pretty sure she's going to be in jail for her birthday. And that totally, totally sucks. Not where you really want to spend your birthday at. But I just hope within a year from this time that she can get all this stuff, you know, worked out and past it. And we can still be together and possibly within a year this time be moving in together. I want to stick to thinking about that and being positive and I still you know I want a life with this girl I care a lot about her and I just I really hope she can get past this and I can get past all this drama that she's in and we can focus on being together within I guess you know around Christmas time 2013 It'd be a great time to move in with a girlfriend and have a nice little start a nice little family but you know Dreams can't all be real, you know what I mean? I don't want to get my hopes up with certain things and then they not happen because I have so many times, but, you know, if I could definitely pick out a girl in real life, she'd be the one. Like, she is the one. <laughs> and hopefully I get to keep her because most of the time when you find that special girl, you don't. So I guess just, you know, just a little shout out to you guys. If you have someone special in your life and you really care about that person, you want to keep her there. You know, try to just, try to enjoy the moment you have with her right now. You know what I mean? The good times. Because they won't always be good times. You'll have good times and you'll have bad times. But if it's really going smooth sailing right now, man, just sit back and enjoy it. Sit back and smile and give her your everything. You know what I mean? Until it gets rough, you treat her like a queen. But enough me getting all sappy. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to finish the rest of this. And then, when we come back, we can see where we're at and what we've done. 
because you know we're past the time limit and I'm pretty much just going to be building more walls like this and rambling about nothing kind of ran out of a little bit to say talked about everything but hopefully you guys are feeling what I'm doing to the castle I think it's looking pretty pretty sharp I might go upstairs I might wait for the upstairs part until we do another duck craft I might wait just so I can show you guys the ideas I have for the roof before I go mess with it but I definitely want to finish these walls solo so let's just see how this looks really quick really really quick like if I can throw down some more of this stuff alright you guys think about the walls I think I like the idea of the high walls so um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna remain keeping this like it is we'll see what happens when I come back in the next video thank you guys so much for watching tell me what you think of the castle and what I should do to make the castle look better on the inside and the outside so thank you guys for listening to me ramble for 16 minutes uh, appreciate the guys at the beginning of the video that bought shirts please order yours if you're looking into ordering shirts I can ship them anywhere in the USA and they're pretty amazing so thank you guys for watching give it a thumbs up leave a comment if you're new subscribe check us out talk to you guys later dusk and fly peace